SpaceX has never failed to capture the headlines with their achievements one after another. They are not only achieving these difficult feats, but are also making the developments public for space enthusiasts. Recently, they've revealed yet another significant change about the Starship and its infrastructure, and we'll dive into the details of this latest update in this video. Before we delve any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about the Starship and SpaceX's other groundbreaking achievements. SpaceX has been making notable changes to its Starship launch tower in Florida, moving away from routine upgrades to more significant modifications of the launch infrastructure. These actions indicate a shift in strategy for the Starship program and have sparked widespread speculation about SpaceX's future plans. Recently, the company began dismantling the legs of the original launch mount, leading to various theories about the reasons behind this decision. While some initially thought SpaceX might reduce the number of legs from six to three to potentially improve stability, it now seems the entire structure might be redesigned or replaced. The structural changes at the launch tower could be driven by several factors. It's possible that technical issues with the orbital launch mount's durability were identified, as signs of wear became apparent after a few uses in Texas. This wear contradicts SpaceX's goal for rapid and frequent Starship launches. Alternatively, SpaceX might be planning a new design for the launch system, possibly incorporating a flame trench diverter. This new setup could offer operational advantages over the current configuration and might influence future designs at the Starbase facility in Texas. This effort is not just about tweaking the launch infrastructure to support more Starship missions. It's also about addressing NASA's concerns regarding potential disruptions to missions involving Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and Dragon spacecraft. Meanwhile, Disappointment is spread among space enthusiasts about Boeing's Starliner launch being delayed once again, with the crewed mission now pushed to May 6th. The Boeing Starliner story began with high expectations when NASA awarded Boeing a significant part of its commercial crew program. In 2014, as part of an effort to bring astronaut launches back to American soil, Boeing received $4.2 billion to develop the Starliner spacecraft for crewed missions to the International Space Station. This was a key move in ending the U.S.'s reliance on Russian Soyuz spacecraft for transporting astronauts to the International Space Station. However, the project encountered numerous hurdles. While initial timelines projected crewed flights by 2017, technical challenges and testing failures pushed these dates further back. Unlike SpaceX, which seemed to progress more smoothly with its Crew Dragon spacecraft, Boeing's journey was more problematic. One of the Starliner's critical moments came during an uncrewed test flight in December 2019. A software malfunction prevented the spacecraft from reaching the International Space Station, marking a significant setback. This failure led to extensive reviews, delaying the program as Boeing worked to fix the issues. Meanwhile, SpaceX's success in launching its Crew Dragon with astronauts in May 2020 added pressure on Boeing. The expectation was for Boeing to quickly follow suit, but the company faced continued delays. The software issue from the 2019 test wasn't just a minor hiccup. It revealed deeper challenges in Boeing's approach to the Starliner. Financial implications were also significant. Boeing had to absorb extra costs resulting from these delays and technical issues. Despite these setbacks, NASA continued to support the Starliner project. Now, almost seven years after the initial timeline for the Starliner, Boeing and NASA decided to go for a launch. But not surprisingly, it got delayed again. This time, the crewed flight test is postponed to no earlier than May 1, 2024. The plan was to launch in mid-April, but the International Space Station schedule caused the delay. Right now, the International Space Station is pretty crowded, hosting seven vehicles, including two Dragon capsules and four Soyuz capsules. Some experts are now questioning whether NASA should have the ability to cancel contracts when companies fail to meet agreed timelines and other standards. This situation puts Boeing, one of the oldest and most powerful companies in aerospace, in a tough spot. Their struggle to achieve what seems like a simple goal, especially when you compare it to SpaceX's achievements, increases the pressure on them. SpaceX not only met this feat, but also broke multiple records, 
achieving milestones that other companies have never even approached. For example, they recently surpassed their own record for booster reusability by launching a single booster for the 19th time. Yes, you heard that right. This booster has traveled to space 19 times. Historically, the standard practice in space missions involved using rocket boosters only once. After propelling their payloads into orbit, these boosters were either discarded into the ocean or left to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere, where they would ultimately burn up. The primary reason behind the high cost of space missions is the rocket engines. Constructing these engines requires advanced materials, precision engineering, and extensive testing to ensure they can withstand the harsh conditions of a launch and operate reliably. When a booster is discarded after a single use, the engines, which represent a substantial investment, are lost as well. This means that for each new mission, new engines must be built from scratch, driving up the cost of access to space. For example, the Saturn V's first stage had five F-1 engines, each costing millions of dollars. After their short operation time during launch, these engines were discarded into the ocean, along with the first stage of the rocket never to be used again. In today's money, the cost of each F-1 engine would likely run into the tens of millions of dollars. Even attempts at making rockets partially reusable, like the Space Shuttle program, had their limitations. The shuttle's solid rocket boosters were recovered from the ocean after each flight and refurbished for reuse, but this process was expensive and time-consuming. Additionally, the shuttle's main engines required significant maintenance between flights, which limited the cost benefits of reusability. Musk started SpaceX exactly for this reason. He noticed the aerospace industry was wasting millions by not reusing rockets. Without any prior experience in this field, Musk believed he could fix this issue by developing rockets that could be launched, landed, and flown again, reducing the overall cost of space travel. Musk achieved his reusability goal first with the Falcon 9 rocket. This was done by equipping the rocket's first stage with technologies that allow it to land back on Earth after launch. The Falcon 9 uses grid fins to steer during its descent and landing legs to land safely. It can land on a drone ship in the ocean or directly back at the launch site, depending on the mission's fuel requirements. For missions where the booster doesn't have enough fuel to return to the launch site, SpaceX uses autonomous spaceport drone ships as landing platforms in the ocean. These drone ships are positioned at specific locations to catch the returning booster. On the other hand, for missions that allow it, the booster returns to a landing zone close to the launch site, where it can be quickly recovered and prepared for its next launch. After landing, whether at sea or on land, the booster undergoes inspections and refurbishments to ensure it's ready for another flight. Reusing a rocket booster is not as straightforward as it might seem, and achieving this feat is something no other company has accomplished. Yet, SpaceX has managed to not just reuse a booster, but has done so 19 times with the same booster. The Falcon 9 first stage that was part of the Starlink mission recently completed its record-tying 19th flight. This particular booster named Booster 1060 first launched in June 2020 and has been responsible for 12 Starlink delivery missions among others. Its most recent mission before this was on February 15th when it launched the IM-1 commercial lunar lander, setting it on course for the moon. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.